Okay. Well, so this was from uh, what I right here. So I so I found this out both from the Elite Discord and Yada Crypto Spooky Miner. Uh, so this uh, this looks really really good. Um, hold on, this thing is oh wrong network. Whoops. Hold on a second. So let me switch to Phantom here because it's obviously not in zero. That would be very bad. There we go. So this seems to be the biggest miner project on Phantom. And uh, at one, when I first started, I had like 311, 312, or 320,000 Phantom. Obviously, it's gone down a bit, but it's starting to, you know, starting to stabilize a little. So I'm like pretty comfortable with this. And I thought that the taxes are pretty harsh too. Well, quote unquote harsh. So APR is 8%, but the dev tax is 6%, right? So, and that's fine. I actually want a higher tax rate, right? That's why RubyMine is doing so well. Technically, Phantom should also do well, but again, Phantom seems to have this super predator problem. Uh, it actually it could actually be a user-based problem, and everyone just keeps like withdrawing money instead. So, anyway, I took some time to look at the RubyMine contract and this particular uh, contract code for a spooky miner. Yeah, it's, it, it was all bluff, because this tells you what you need to know right here. Function calculate trade, because because believe it or not, calculate cell actually calls this function, right? It says right here, return calculate trade, right? Or you can just look at both, but I actually do not see anything here that says safe math dot subtract. So I think it's probably safe math dot sub, right, for subtract. Here I see multiply, add, and divide. So safe math mold, six, six, uh returns I mean I don't know maybe it's in this maybe it's inside this division I guess save and add mole P S N R S actually it did occur to me maybe the may, so maybe they don't use subtraction they use division what does P S N P S N H and R T mean and R S because they did declare these variables up above here uh, PSN equals a 10,000 PSN. So these are actually fixed. So I need to find out what RT is. Not to be confused with Russia today, but RT and RS. Oh, great. Kuga, uh, ownable. RT, RS. Uh, well, so much for a short video, but I really need to know if they actually enforce the lowering of your rewards. Because I, cause I don't actually see it. Like, I seem to be getting the same amount every day, and I compound and stuff. Oh, jeez. I'm only, I'm only going to do it really quick if I, can, if I can't find it. Uh, ownership, all right. Okay, let me see where he declares the variable for RS. Wait. Right, I saw the word nerf. Wait, no, I'm hitting the wrong one. Boost market to nerf miners hoarding. Boost market to nerf miners hoarding. Huh. So it looks like they try to nerf things by using division instead. Function, calculate trade, unit RS, da 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 da, view, returns, yeah. oh, it was declared right up here. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe they do actually try to enforce it, but they do it through division, not subtraction. That's actually kind of interesting. And it did say to prevent people from hoarding, they had some sort of division function there too. Huh. I don't know. I'm going to have to really look into it because obviously the contract is still draining anyway, right? I mean, this is especially a pronounced problem on phantom projects, so I mean that so that is the thing. To ensure a max, I mean, it doesn't even say you're getting penalized. It just says to ensure we recommend the following. And a long term account on stake. So, did, did they write a white paper? Uh, if they did, hopefully Oh good, this thing runs fine. I don't know why the fish farm money thing was like so whatever. 
Uh, let's get a UAD for bounds, update referral, UAD, pull more helmets, we'll not stop dig and increase your things. There is no fee taken when you reinvest, uh, of course. Well, you take a profit, it's not too often, will exhaust your graveyard and therefore decrease your return on investment in the short and in the long run. Owners, uh, professional, professional, do the web contract. Web contract of marketing. Hmm. Didn't he actually code a different project? I could have sworn I've actually seen this guy before. Uh, high risk, high reward, of course. And then these are their official links. So it does actually say here in the white paper. Wait, 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 I, this thing's a little too big. Um, yeah, here it is. It does actually say here that if you do claim too often, it will exhaust your graveyard, All right? So we'll look at the contract here. Let's see if there are idiots. Yeah, sell bones. So let's see if there are actually retards, supposedly retards, that do this. Hatch bones. Hatch is re compounding, right? Oh, great. I like how I can't read any of these uh, things here, because obviously. Uh, hatch, 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 sell. Right there, sell. All right, so let's see. What are you doing? Sell bones, sell eggs. So we want sell bones. So this guy is literally selling every day. Uh, every day. Uh, sometimes a couple times a day. Uh, so yeah, he literally does not compound. What does harvest unlock mean? Oh, that's probably a different minor project or a different project. Yeah, this guy's not compounding at all either. He's literally just selling every fucking day. Sell bones. If, yeah, he seems to sell once to twice a day. Uh, okay. Let me see. 71. Yeah, see, this is why you're supposed to use subtraction, not fucking division. Uh, two days, 26 minutes ago. One day. I'm trying to actually figure out. Did he actually wait the... Uh, this guy does seem to be waiting the 24 hours. Hatch bones. Hatch bones. So this guy is actually pretty interesting. He actually waits a little more than 24 hours, it looks like. Because that way it ensures... Is that correct? Two days, 26 hours ago? Because I know this is more than 24 hours apart, these two. I'm trying to figure out if this one is... Uh... I don't know. I'm not really sure about this one. Hmm. So that's interesting. So this guy actually waits out the 24 hours. So that's that's evidence that the thing is being enforced. This guy obviously doesn't give a shit. He literally is just dumping. Okay. And he's also it's it's actually kind of interesting. I actually do not see people compounding because I compound. Uh, two days, 23 hours ago. Huh. All right. The thing is, this is still too new. So if this is really being enforced, you don't actually really notice it until like much later. So I don't know. I guess I'll find out. I'll I'll find out. But again, I'm still looking at my rewards. They seem to be pretty all right. So yeah. All right. So anyway, check out Spooky Miner. Oh, I forgot to add the last video to the playlist. Whoops. Uh, I knew I forgot. I actually knew I forgot something. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that there. Add to the playlist. Uh, projects I am invested in. Okay, there we go. I forgot to add. I got to remember to add this video to the playlist as well. Because I'm actually in this one. Because right now, Titano style projects are going to be under a lot of pressure still. And now that Sphere has, has had their correction too. Having something that's not quite a Titano project at all, like something like this is actually perfect. Ideally, I would like to find more stable coin miner projects like BUSD Lucky Cat. But again, so far I haven't seen or heard of anyone yet. Right? And obviously it's gotta be legit and obviously sustainable and it goes up. And of course we need a very high uh, 
you know, tax compared to the daily return. Because really, uh, the limit is the, the limit between daily APR and dev fee has to absolutely be five percent. That's the cutoff because that's what baked beans does. Fish money, the last project, uh, the last video I did, it's still processing YouTube because <laughs> unfortunately it made it a little too long. Uh, that's a five percent fee as well. Now supposedly the uh, the enforcement of the anti well mechanism is in play. I'm still very skeptical skeptical about it. So, I don't know. I, I also didn't check this particular contract for... I'm just going to do a control F. Time. Yeah, so they're doing timestamps as well. Get bone since last hatch. Uh, okay, so yeah, here we go. Subtract. So this is the first time I've actually seen subtract. Um, seconds past skeleton and miners safe so return safe math mull seconds past skeleton and miners um, safe math mull so maybe this one actually does actually safe oh spelled the wrong safe math dot mull. Uh fuck. This is kind of calculate trade. I don't know. It looks like it should be passing this out a number around actually. Function get Get bones since last hatch. Maybe I should actually find if anyone calls this function. Get bones since. Uh, I see these two functions. Safe and add claimed bones address. Get returns. Da -da. Fuck. Function get bones since last hatch. Function get my bones. Okay, so function. Let's see if someone calls this. Get my bones. Function hatch new miners. So this is when you actually deposit fresh money into the project. So that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this. Sell bones. Okay, so get my bones. So your current bones equals get my bones. Let me actually write this so I can see it. Get my bones. And then return save my claim bones. Get bones since last hatch. Seconds passed. But what do you actually do with this? Your bone value, get bone sell, you feed that, and you sell a fee, safe math, current bones, market bones, transfer fee. This is the first product I've seen where it actually says subtraction. So payable to message sender, transfer, safe map, subtract the bone value, comma, with the fee. Yeah, this is just a transfer fee. <clears throat> I don't know, from the way it looks, it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything with this timestamp either. Because it's returning the result of the amount of miners that you have, skeleton miners, multiplied by how long it's been, and then you feed it into this, which it, this doesn't do anything. It looks like it doesn't do anything. Again, I'm not, I'm, I'm going off of my old coding skills, but obviously I'm not a very, I mean, I'm like an okay co uh, coder at best, but obviously we need someone who's a professional that can read this. So, again, it's up to you to decide if you think, again, that this penalty is in, in place. I don't know. I still remain very skeptical, as always. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, if you like this channel, subscribe, share. Um, I right, man, I'm like, I'm really spacing out. I actually really need to take uh, go for a walk, but I got so much content to do. So, you know, I'll just, I'll just deal with it. So, um, definitely check out Spooky Miner. I'm definitely going to go into, uh, I actually, I'm already, I actually put in quite a big bag into this too. So, 
you know, I will I will try to find out if this thing is an actual, like, you know, if there's an actual penalty system, you know. Uh, but again, we'll have to see. Because so far, I don't think it's working because obviously people continue to dump like crazy, all right. I'm thinking it might work on Fish Farm and Ruby Mine because they actually do have, like, extra code. All right, well, I don't know about Fish Farm, but because they use Division, but... Uh, Ruby mine definitely has like a lot of stuff, but it doesn't look like they do uh, the penalty either. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll just have to see. Anyway, uh, I'm very happy about Spooky Miner. I kind of like this actually, and um, you know, I kind of realize does it actually? I wonder if the, the spooky stuff scares some investors away, especially people who are like scared of like Satan and all that stuff. That that'd be kind of interesting. That'd be kind of interesting. Anyway, this will be uh, added to the playlist as well. Um, but of course, we're always looking for new projects. And now that you know, I've subscribed to a bunch of YouTubers, I can actually just pull their ideas too, and then take a look for myself. And of course, put it on this channel. So, so uh, yeah. So as long as like Renzo and Dow King and Yada Crypto and other people I've subscribed to, you know, uh, you know, keep doing well, you know, I'll be able to do well. So, thank you again to everybody who was new. I'm just feeling a little bit on my own because I really just want to keep resting, but I just have too much stuff going on in my head. And on top of that, I'm trying to actually analyze computer code, right? That takes a lot. That takes basically all of my brain power, right? Because, you know, we really want to answer the question. But again, like, if you uh, if you don't mind, you could do the 6-1, like, like a lot of these projects are saying. That does actually, you know, give you the most rewards if you don't mind waiting a week, right? Because you're constantly compounding. But, you know, as I, but I personally, like I always tell you, take profits every day, right? Compound, so in this case, I compound, I try to compound 50-50. It's not an exact science, but, you know, you keep growing your bag while, you know, taking some profit out. And it was working out really, really well. All right, it's working out really, really well. And I, and I also have to come up with another, like, $3,200, dollars because obviously I need to start, you know, the offshore company thing. Because uh, cause it turns out that the IRS has like something where if you own more than 10% of an offshore company, you got to report that. Um, but I think if you're below that, then you don't have to report something like that. So, uh, and yeah, surprisingly, there's a way to get around it, right? So that's why I have to pay a little more, right? But, you know, again, I'll wait till I actually do it and whatever. So, yeah. So... Anytime that someone tells you something cannot be done, just ignore them because, or her because they, they don't, they're, they're stupid, all right? You can make things happen, all right? And it's the same thing with the with lawyers and tax stuff. I see so many retarded advice on the internet. And it just says, yeah, I just cave in. You don't have to fucking cave in this shit. I don't see Google, Amazon, and Microsoft caving in. And what they do is perfectly legal too. So if they can do it, I can fucking do it. It's like, you know, like there really are a lot of idiots out there, so whatever. But of course, you got to find the actual smart person that does it. Um, yeah, but anyway, Offshore Company has been around since 1906, so they've been, so they know the deal. They know the deal. I'll see you in the next video. I don't know why I closed my sticky notes. Uh, today is April 18th, so Outback Finance is supposed to be launching today, but, um, Oh, God, we have so many projects in the queue. I've got Outback. I've got High Titano. I don't know what that is. I just know that Renzo covered it. There's 100 Days Finance, which was suggested by Milano in the comments. And by the way, if there's a project you want me to cover, leave it in the comment section, especially if I see multiple people asking for it. Then I'll definitely notice it, right? Because the channel is still relatively small, but over time, you know, but I'll still read the comments, right? So I've got the Hive, which is a Tomb Fork, which I found out from the Yield Wolf Discord. I don't feel like doing that today. I'll just wait till tomorrow. I've got Ticket Inu, which is a darn Titano Fork from Renzo, Medusa Protocol, and Gates of Heaven, which is from Yada Crypto. Jesus Christ. There is so much shit. So I don't know. I'm going to at least put in... I think I'll probably do High Titano. If I feel like I have energy, I'll do 100 Days Finance. Otherwise, I'll put High... Let me put 100 Days Finance um up here because that way i'll back finance will be launched uh by tomorrow for sure and then i'll have a chart to work with um okay all right yeah 
And then, because uh, uh, aside from Spooky Mario, I'll actually, I actually don't seem to have any minor projects in the queue. Uh, but I'll have to check the, you know, YouTube channels, because I'm sure it's, yeah. I don't know, there's just so much shit to do. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next video. I can't believe this is 20 minutes. I thought this was like 10 or 15 minutes, but, I mean, that's what happens when you try to actually analyze code, so. Anyway, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, you know, so keep growing the channel. Thank you again to all the new people coming in. Well, we're just getting started, you know. We're, we're, we're going to go to the top. All right, we're going to go to the top. And again, make sure you look at the playlist section of my YouTube channel, all right? That's very important. I deliberately try to keep it as small and lean as possible so that you're going to watch all the videos there, especially the playlist of the projects that I'm uh, invested in, right? So whenever you want to know what I'm invested in, go look at the playlist, right? Because that, that is something that I can be comfortable telling others if they want to look at it. If once the project is, I feel, uh, is at the risk of maybe going down under or going down too much, I remove the project. So, and then you just have to check the playlist, you know? So, uh, yeah, and, that, and that's it. You know, nice and easy, and it frees my time up to do other stuff, you know? So, oh, yeah, and it also instantly tells you what you want to, you know, check into, too, right? So... All right, I'll see you next video. I think it'll be what was it called again? High tight. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I just know it's high something. I'll I'll I'll, I'll have to look at Renzo's channel. All right, thanks for watching. See you uh, next video. Thanks.